this is an opportunity for a first time winner of the Schmaltz Cup. Neither Clarington nor Wellesley has hoisted the cup before and there's energy in the air. As the Apple Jacks and Eagles take to the ice, the Apple Jacks in their white, red and black, the Eagles flying in red. For everybody who is watching, welcome to our broadcast. And welcome down to ice level, Connor Doorbecker with me. Take me through what you're thinking right now. Uh, this is huge. I mean, first time we're here in this uh, this atmosphere here with these guys and uh, in this situation. I think we got a tight knit group, like Seal said, and I think we can get the job done tonight. All right, down here on the other side, Brady Dare with me. Brady, you guys are back here for the second time in a row. How do you come up on top this time? Boys are ready. We got to score first and uh, keep it rolling. Every line's got to be going. What are your thoughts on this game and how have you guys prepared for it? And how are you seen uh, Wellesley once already? You fell to them. What have you learned from that? I like it. We had our worst game of the year when we played them and we're going to be coming out flying. So we should have a good game here. around them bring up looking forward to seeing who's hoisting that cup in two hours penner trying to get there for wellesley can't do it and two eagles will fly out of the zone two trailing nice pass to hall jumped in the rush pass over to the side and cleared by ceiling ceiling with the game winner yesterday and today makes a great defensive play up door becker now springs loose two eagles back Doorbecker coming in, drop pass, Baker with the shot, save, rebound! Oh, it's just put by the net. First great chance for the Applejacks on that rush. Hoff trying to give chase, puck down low. Applejacks get another shot, that's blocked to the blue line, only one Applejack back, and here comes the race. Puck near side, there's a shot, oh, hit the crossbar! That was a laser over the shoulder of Bender, but it's still scoreless. Minute 10 left to go in the man advantage for Clarington. Up through the middle and coming over to the near side. Here comes Claus. High slot shot. Saved by Bender. It's underneath him and he'll make the save. He'll try to skate by Hoff but get some assistance. Davies is in. Backhanded towards the net. Hit a leg. It's sitting loose. They try to get to it. It's cleared to the far side and we got a penalty coming up here as there was chaos in front of Bender. Under a minute to play in the first period. No score. So two minute slashing call. Here's Dupuy with shot. Bender able to make the save. Thanks, guys. I got Kyle Baker here with me. Kyle, tone setting first period, 0-0. Very different game from before. What did you guys bring in that first period? Yeah, you know, we, we got a lot of motiv motivation from them, saying a lot of stuff. So we're building off that in that room and uh, trying to get the job done here. 
How did you like the way that you guys came out? I know some of the last games for some of these guys in that room. How did you like the way that your team came out in that first 20 minutes? Pretty happy. We were a little nervous at the start, as you can see, but we got going in the end of the period, and we'll have a better second here. To start this second period, puck at center ice. Here's Davies. Throws it into the Wellesley zone, but they turn it the other way. Here comes Baker. Nice little pass. Wellesley coming in. A cross shot. Score! the scoring for the Wellesley Applejacks here in the second period. That's Kyle Baker entering the zone on the left side. A couple moves there. Gets the puck net front. It's Kasubi, no mistake. Gets his own rebound. Beats Robert. Glove side. Applejacks on the board. Puck back to the point. There's a blast that's directed away by Robert. Shaw now can't clear. Big hit on the corner away from the play and now the Apple Jacks will bring it in. Baker sidesteps a check. Baker's going to hold on. Takes a shot. Score! No goal! No goal! No goal! Baker thought he had one there. The referee right there looks like it hit the post. And plays going the other way. It's a two on one. Here comes Clarington. Big defensive stop. Still in the zone. Out in front. It's batted around and sent back to the blue line. And oh my, Wellesley thinking they scored a second here this afternoon, but the referee right there to wave it off. Big toe save, Bender. Back to the far point, down into the corner. Back to the high slot, shot towards net was blocked. Far side shot, oh, it was blocked. Down is Robert. And there's gonna be a penalty coming up here. Could be two going off. Oh my, what action we have here this afternoon. one nothing lead still for Wellesley. Kellaway put a body on him. Claus is back to pick it up in Clarington. Carrying the puck in the zone. Bell lost the handle on it. Along the near side. Here comes Clarington on the attack to the slot. Claus a shot. Score! Aggressive Wellesley for check, sending two in deep. Almost caught the Clarington Eagles off guard. Puck to the far side into the Wellesley zone. Look out, man going to the net. Far side, shot. Oh, just pushed wide. The net is off. And the Eagles look sky high as an opportunity flew by. Off the glass, back through center ice and popped in by the Apple Jacks. Baker in. Trying to twist and turn, knocked down by Manning. In comes Clemmer. Puck behind the. Look out! They score! That's Carson Wickey. Puck was coughed up behind the Clarington net. Everybody was in shock except Wickey, and he puts it in on the far post. Wickey with a present there. It was a reverse attempt, but no one was there for the reverse. Well, there was someone there. It was Wicky. He wraps it in tight. Scores the second goal of the period for the Apple Jacks. Thanks, guys, with Carson Wicky. Carson, biggest goal of your career? So far, yes, absolutely. I mean, take me through that goal. I mean, their defense left me the puck wide down. And I just took it right to the net. Their goalie was on the other side. Easy goal for me. I mean, You've done a little bit of everything here in this game. A block shot early on. Do you even feel that sting on the foot? Not anymore, no. Nope. Best of luck in the third period. Thank you. He lost the handle on it, and Butler gets it ahead to Dorbecker, trying to chase it down. Kellaway was there. Puck to the far side, and Clarington into the offensive zone. Pass to the middle, picked off, and Wellesley gets it to the blue line and out as Dorbecker will carry it in. Makes a move. Dorbecker shot. Score! I saw a lane in the middle. He pinched me early. I cut to the middle and saw that short side corner. 
I just prayed. Heavy shot, blocker side, beats Robert. It's 3-1 Applejacks. Face-off win by Clarington. Hall at the blue line, able to keep it in off the end boards. Comes over to the near corner. Shaw will take it out. Davies in front of the net. Shaw lost the handle, and it's cleared back to the near side for Hall. Two men in front of Bender trying to create a screen through traffic. Open net. Oh, pushed wide by Dara. He was right there on the doorstep, and he just lifted it high. Clarington on the puck again. They're on the man advantage here. Down by a pair. Hall at the blue line. Back to the point. Shot through traffic. Bender sees it, and he'll glove it down for the save. 30 seconds left to the man advantage. Here comes Hall. That change Wellesley. Hall shot off the glove of Bender. Wellesley almost getting caught there. They sent three off for a change. Hall with an open opportunity. Far side shot, and that's gloved down by Bender. Some good pressure by the Eagles on the power play. Noah Bender calming things down. Sticks out the right glove and gets a whistle for his team. As we are in the latter stages of the third period. Clarington wins the draw. There's a shot. Scores! It's Savvy, we got ourselves a hockey game. Callaway on the near side, up to center, gets it to the blue line and further. Callaway all the way into the offensive zone. Look out, puck in front. There's an opportunity blocked by Katsubi. Are below the icing line in the Wellesley end. Clarington will take it out first. Back to Hall. Hall makes a move on Dorbecker. Shot off the post and out of play. Oh, so close. What an incredible finish to this game. 50.4 seconds left, a 3-2 lead for the Apple Jacks. Kept in, Eagles looking to pressure in front of the net. Can they get an opportunity? Wellesley clogging up that area, down low, in behind the net, pass out in front, in the air, Bender down, puck is loose, it was in the paint. Here's Hall, can't get a shot away. Dumped in behold, behind the net, cleared by Wellesley. 20 seconds left. Applejacks trying to keep it in the corner. Dug out, Clarington out in front. Here's an opportunity, Bender down, net is off. Shot towards the net, time winding down. This will do it.
this feeling is unbelievable. I mean, from the beginning of the year, we had one goal in mind. That was to win the Schmaltz. And, uh, you know, to see that goal out, to be here in this moment right now, it's, it's incredible. I'm so proud of these guys. It really felt like we were the home team all weekend long. Uh, you know, all through the playoffs and especially this weekend, the fan support was incredible. And, uh, you know, it really helped us win the Schmaltz Cup. It really backed us up. It's insane. I can't believe the crowd had got out here. Wellesley fans, hometown winning it here. Couldn't ask for a better feeling. Yeah, we knew coming into it, not a lot of teams respected us as a team, but we knew what we had in our room, and we just had to show them. Well, you can see how much it means to all of us, but personally, it goes way back to when I was just about three or four, my dad walking me through the room and to meet, letting me meet all the guys, and watching them play, it was an inspiration. It was my dream, obviously, to go to the NHL, but then to play Junior C was, was the next one, right? So to be here right now, it's, I don't know what to say. I can tell, obviously, it makes you emotional. Who do you think about in all of these moments, your family, your teammates? Take me through that, Kobe. I'm thinking about, first of all, my dad. He's the number one fan. My grandpa, who comes to pretty much every game he can. I'm thinking about my vets in my first year, Kyle Soper. He kind of led the way for me and learned a lot from him and everybody that I was with that supported me and helped me. I, I can't be appreciative enough, so I just want to say thanks to all of them. You know, coming back here, uh, we're, yeah. all, we're all started. I can't complain, especially our team. It's like a family, so I can't complain at all. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> good weekend. What's up going on a good event? So can't complain at all. How'd you get it done this weekend? How'd you guys find a way to get three wins? <laughs> you know, we're, we're a family all year. We, we're a pretty tight-knit group, and people blocking shots, people playing through injuries. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Benny stood on his head when he needed to, and yeah. Yeah, some big goals. We're brothers in there. Uh, we're, we're working for each other. We're fighting for each other, especially the OAs. Like, this is the lo uh, last time a lot of guys will have, ever have a chance at this, so we left everything on the line today, and it paid off. Just to be able to win it in front of all these fans here, uh, it's almost like we're playing in Wellesley here with the amount of support we have out here. Uh, yeah, it's great. This is what we've been working for or towards since the beginning of the season. So to finally be able to do that is huge. To be the playoff MVP means what to you? Oh, you know, it's great. Um, I think every, anyone on this team could have could have won that. Anyone, everyone deserves it. Um, we all stuck together as a team throughout every game. I don't think there was a single game where we were playing as individuals, um, especially in this game. Uh, the whole team came together and we got it done. Tell me what's going on behind you here. This is your biggest fan, apparently. Yeah, that's my biggest fan right there. What do you think of the playoff MVP? So good. <laughs> so proud of him. And without him, we could have been easily done yesterday. I mean, he's probably one of the best goalies I've ever played with. He's got so much talent, so much potential, and he really backboned our win in this three games. And I mean, also everyone else, we really worked for it. We wanted this more than anything. I mean, teams really... They kind of, they didn't see us here before. They haven't seen us in the winning a championship in the conference. So they probably thought a little bit easy on us, but we just took it to them, played our game and ended up winning. And that's all that matters. Absolutely surreal. I mean, words can't even explain what just happened here. I'm still processing it. I think all the boys are still processing it. I mean, this is what we worked for all year and to finally be able to do it and stand here. I mean, it's one of the best feelings in the world and I can't even like, Words can't even explain what is going on in my head right now. I'm at a loss for words right now, but I want to say a huge congratulations to Noah Bender. He's a 2006 born goalie and he carried us through the whole way. We all though, the whole team, we worked our asses off. Sorry for the language. We worked our asses off. Everyone, first to fourth line, every D pairing, we deserve this tonight. Wow, man. This is, this is surreal. Like, I don't know, everyone counted us out all year and the fact that we're here is just, just amazing. What a, what a team. What a year. What a year. Growing up at Wellesley, watching this team, making it like this far, being the first Jacks to do it, like it's unreal. Like it's a dream come true. I don't know. Man, I, words can't describe this feeling. Like I knew we were good, but honestly, I didn't know we were this good coming into this season. Like these guys, like we just play for each other. We just said coming in, just play for the guy next to you and good things will happen. And that's that's what we did tonight. The whole year we uh, had a quote, it was uh, just do your job and everyone 
we put in that and I'm so proud of this group. I love these guys like brothers. We really stuck to our, our identity, you know. We didn't go off the script at all and uh, we really stuck to our game plan. We stayed disciplined and we got the job done. Three wins and Smalls Cup champions. Fans are uh, crazy. Like everyone on the ice, holy. So many people. Uh, it's just unreal. Unreal. Um, I can't even put words into it. Really, literally, like. Noah Bender. Insane. On his head. All year. Well, I tell you, we couldn't do it without the support here, these fans. Uh, I don't know, it, it felt like home, you know what I mean? We had so many people here cheering. We obviously had a closer drive than the other teams did, but it was just fantastic. Everybody out here celebrating, like, we wouldn't do it if it wasn't for those guys, right? So it was, it's awesome. How did you do it this weekend? I thought three gutsy performances. You yeah. got some some clutch scoring and then Noah Bender. Oh, um, yeah. How do you summarize the last 72 hours? It's been a bit of a whirlwind. I uh, haven't taken it all in right now, you know, because it's just everything that's gone on. Start Friday there, you know, like three game weekends are tough on any day. And then with the emotions and the, how intense this is, it was just, it's awesome. Like we uh, battled through there Friday night. Saturday, yesterday was a heck of a game. We had to go through Lakeshore to, to get to the championship anyways, right? So and they were a heck of a team. Uh, then playing Clarington, we had played them once before there. They're a high offensive team, and uh, there, there's some big kids over there, right? And uh, Noah Bender, I don't know, I can't say enough about that young lad. You know, 16 years old, coming in here and, and uh, being the backstop, leading these guys. It's a great future for that young kid, that's for sure.
offensive zone, puts on the brakes, over to Hoff, Hoff with the shot, down Liberty, they score! Kobe Sealy seals the deal! Honestly, I'm just soaking this in right now, I'm not really sure what the hell just happened.